Hey, Shlom, Shlom, and Staff Souls, but give no praise to Yahweh, Shem Yahshua, but Shem Mekakudash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS and honesty, brothers in the work in truth. While well, sincerity, this is a quick one. It's uh, you know the, the three feasts um, that uh, that you know as as uh, you know in ancient Israel that that we were required to go back to Jerusalem for. Um, now I'll bring this um, you know bring this out just in case you know brothers. Um, new haven't uh, uh, gone into it because it is something that um that uh, the, the older brother and, and one of the older brothers in our camp says a lot is we can't um you know we can't let Amalek you know who aren't in you know, really us know our history better than we do right you know we've got to um you know so, you know it's part of our heritage right so this is one of the things we you know we've got to know in fact let me just grab a scripture. Um, uh, right, this is Romans 15 and 4 For whatsoever things were written aforetime Were written for our learning Right, um, you know And part of that learning is You know, the, the world goes on to say that we through patience And comfort of the scriptures might have hope right? So part of that learning is looking at the history And, um, you know, being comforted By how the Lord, uh, you know Did certain things all right, but uh, you know, but also you know, their history is there for us, right? So you know, and it helps build a better picture of uh, of 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 you know what was um, you know what was going on, you know, back then. For instance, you know, you got the thing about the Gentiles, um, right? If you're not familiar with their history, that gets quite difficult, right? Uh, um, you know, and and you know, you got to pray. The most how open your eyes so that you can see you know the mystery of the gentiles right um so yeah we'll, we'll go on now i've got it here um just so you know what what uh uh, uh, uh what the the names are you know that these so-called jews use um you know so, you know so just 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 for knowledge purpose so you know for instance if they were to come up and say sukkot you know what they're talking about so you know it's the the three uh feasts that we're as Israelites in the you know in the ancient world had to go back to Jerusalem for that you know, was the, the the feast of um uh, they call it Pesach you know that's uh, we would say Pesach which is Passover right it says and then they have a Shavuot right, a week a feast of weeks Pentecost and Sukkot right the feast of Tabernacles right so that's just the, the words that they use right so this is Exodus twenty three fourteen right it says three times thou shalt keep a feast unto me in the year thou shalt keep the feast of unleavened bread right so this Passover right it says thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days as I commanded thee in the time appointed in the month Abib for in it thou camest out from Egypt and none shall appear before me empty and the feast of harvest right the feast of first fruits yeah the first fruits of thy labors which thou hast sown in the field and the feast of ingathering which shall be the feast of tabernacles which is in the end of the year when thou hast gathered in thy labors out of the field right and uh, i mean we, we all should know about passover um you know so i won't um, i won't read into that Right, uh, it says uh, Leviticus 23 and 9, it says, And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come into the land which I give unto you, and shall reap the harvest thereof, ye shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priests, and ye shall wave the sheaf before the Lord to be accepted for you on the morrow after the Sabbath. Right, the priest shall wave it, and ye shall offer that day when ye wave the sheaf and he lamb without blemish of the first year for a burnt offering unto Yahweh, and the meat offering thereof shall be two tenth deals of fine flour mingled with oil, an offering made by fire unto Yahweh for a sweet savour, and the drink offering thereof shall be wine, the fourth part of an hin, and ye shall eat neither bread, nor parched corn, nor green ears. Until the self same day that ye have brought an offering unto your power, and it shall be a statute forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings, right? So you know that's just the uh, you know the the law and the feast of first fruits, and obviously there there are some things, um, you know you, you you know if you just watch the apostles, uh, you know for updates for you know when these things come in, you know and and basically how we observe them, you know in this day, uh, you know um. 
you know, uh, so then you've got Leviticus 23, 33 says, And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of the seventh month, right, shall be the feast of tabernacles for seven days unto Yahweh. Right now, this is five days after the, uh, which called the, uh, what's the name? Uh, day of Atonement, right, which the so-called Jews, they call that Yom Kippur, right? We call it the Day of Atonement, right? So it says five days after that. Right, it says, um, shall be the feast of tabernacles for seven days unto the Lord. On the first day shall be in holy convocation. You shall do no servile work. Seven days shall you offer an offering made by fire unto your house. And once again, you know, this is what I was saying about there's some, you know, things we don't do, uh, you know, because we haven't got, uh, you know, we're not, you know, got things to make an offering with, right, stuff like that. Even with um the Passover, right, obviously we, we observe the fact that we don't eat, leavened bread right we observe um you know we do you know and stuff like that um but for instance you're supposed to eat you know a, a lamb without blemish but we haven't got our own lamb you know our own sheet so we can't do that right um and you know the, the and, and this is where being spiritual comes into it right if i uh grab this real quick this is uh, Judges 5 and 11, right, it says that ye, they that are delivered from the noise of the arches in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go, of Yahweh go down to the gates, right? So this is a rehearsal, These, you know, we're rehearsing the righteous acts, right? Because, you know, there, there's so much that we can't keep uh perfectly you know in this uh you know in this day and age uh, and i mean for instance we can't uh you know be going down to jerusalem three times a year right but it you know just um you know it is good to just know uh what your history is end of the day you know we are hebrew israelites right um so where was i yeah, i've already read this one What's this one? Um, oh no, I've read, read, read this. That was the first scripture, um, and then I read that. Yeah, yeah. So it says, seven days shall you offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord." Verse thirty-six. Um, On the eighth day shall be in holy convocation unto you, and ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahweh. It is a solemn assembly, and ye shall do no serve our work therein. These are the feasts of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, to offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, Yahweh, a burnt offering, a meat offering, a sacrifice, drink offerings, everything upon his day. Right, and uh, this is Zechariah 14 and 6, because, you know, we're, we're still going to be, you know, observing, uh, you know, uh, you know, observing, you know, these feasts in the kingdom, right, Um, you know, what, what has, uh, you know, come up we don't know how uh you know passover is you know how we're going to do that um because you know you've got this scripture here it says jeremiah sixteen fourteen. um therefore behold days come saith yahweh that it shall no more be said yahweh liveth that brought up the children of israel up the land of egypt but yahweh liveth that brought up the children of israel from the land of the north from all the lands where he had driven them and I'll bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. So just like how Passover is about, you know, the the you know the deliverance from you know ancient Egypt. Well, we know we don't know whether uh, you know we're going to have a new day to celebrate you know the deliverance from you know this Egypt, this captivity. You know, because this is you know this is this, this has been a heavy burden, you know, on you know on the children of Israel this captivity, right? So. Um, you know, on that, no, we're not, you know, we're not, we're not a hundred percent how that's going to go down, right, you know, more than, you know, we're probably going to, you know, have a new day, you know, you never know, the law might, you know, you know, you never know, you know, you don't know, I don't want to speak on things we don't know, right, but this is proof that we're going to be observing uh, in the uh, in the kingdom of Israel, Zechariah 14 and 16, it says, And it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, and keep the feast of tabernacles. Right now, I was going into the breakdown here, that's noted. And if you know, if you know, it's a, it basically goes on to the fact that this is proof that 
the the heathens aren't gonna be on any level, right? Because they, uh, as as in you know, the, the new second covenant isn't open to the heathen, because the second covenant, as uh, uh, written in Hebrews eight and six, right, says the children of Israel are gonna keep the law perfectly. But here it's saying we're gonna have to make sure that the heathens, uh, 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 would you call it, come up uh, to the feast of tabernacles and keep it. Right, which showing you what showing you that they ain't got the second covenant. The second covenant isn't open to them, right? Um, so yeah, that's that's the, the you know the feast of tabernacles, and you know that's going to be observed in the kingdom, right? Um, so yeah, like I said, um, you know, this it, was more just like a you know a history lesson because this is you know this is our, our heritage, right? You know, um, you just covered it certain things on how to you know observe it, per, you know. Uh, observe these you know in this kingdom you know just you know watch the apostles right and uh you know and, and you know during the period of time when these things it's come to pass uh I mean, to be observed rather you know i'm sure they'll do videos on on what it's you know what, what each of them uh you know are about um in terms of observing them right you know because at the end of the day they are the heads of israel at this point in time and there's no point in me saying do X, Y, Z and, and the apostles saying, you, you know, just, that sort of stuff as best from, you know, from, from, from the top. So as always, hope this was edifying. Until the next time, shalom.